uh, sorry, despite the fact that this is my favorite 2D Zelda game, like, I've always preferred the 3D ones over the 2D ones. Got the wooden sword. This truly is a sign of courage. Hold A or B to power up, then release it for a spin. Attack. Legit question. Why is a wooden sword a sign of courage? If anything, that's more of a sign of stupidity. Because who goes into battle using a wooden sword? I guess to be fair, he can, Link can swing it pretty hard. I mean, you should wear it. Close your eyes. So like, keep in mind, like this is the Link from A Link to the Past, so he's actually quite experienced. Well, what actually surprises... Whoa. What actually surprised me a bit is that I'm, uh, I read the manga of this, and the version of Link they used in that one is a different one. 30 rupees, nice. Um, uh, like, that version of Link was actually like a farm boy. Like, it goes to show, like, um, uh, how different they'll make the, um, uh, mangas compared to the games. At the same time, though, like, it's mostly with, like, the 2D spin-offs. Well, I say 2D spin-offs, but I mean, like, uh, I suppose the 2D lesser-known Zelda games? It's like, I'm, uh, the Link from Four Swords, I'm, uh, was different from the, compared to the game to the manga. And, um, uh, yeah, the one from the Oracle games was different from, from game to manga as well. Anyway. Ow. Not gonna lie, though, like, as stiff as this feels a little, then again, it's probably the controller I'm using. It feels good to actually really play this game again. We're on Village Heroes Cave, okay. Looks like it's winter again. Yeah, let me help you out. Well, Tifa, with the seasons going out of whack, I doubt you're going to grow anything. So now, now that we've gotten the sword, um, uh, the shop should be open now so we can grab a few things. Yep, here we go. Perfect. Wooden shield, 30 rupees. Alright, now I'm going to need an extra 7 for the bombs. But yeah, I'm a... Uh, the shield is actually an item in this game. Like, in other 2D Zelda games, you just hold it out in front of you automatically and you could block projectiles. Not in this case. You actually have to hold it out to to deliberately block attacks. Drat. I was hoping for some money. Yeah, I'm, uh, eventually you'll get um, uh, stronger shields, but right now you just start with a wooden, with a wooden one. Do you know of the Hero's Cave near the western coast? The Hero's Sword is said to be hidden there, but no one has ever found it. Found it! Tutorial dungeons be damned. Alright, oh, these are important. Ouch, you can't carry them like that. Alright. Oh, uh, we'll see more about those later. Jeez, you really gotta fix this fix the season soon. Almost nothing's growing. Hmm. The light in here is too dim to read by to read by to read by? Can anyone light my fire? Could do if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Anyway. Got a kid playing fetch with his dog? In the west part of town are the Noah all birds. See them if you have a question. Oh, I'm good, thank you. Alright, here's the place to make a tree. Hold out the sword, and it opens up. Ugh. Who's that? Did you wake me? Who are you? 
What? Din was taken while I slept? There's no sign of the Temple of Seasons? This is awful. Guarding the Oracle is my duty. Alas, how I've withered. What's to be done, Tom? If the season's in chaos, the land is robbed of the very essence of nature, draining all of my might. Can you save Din and my steed, Stead? It is all it is all this Maker Tree has ever asked. I sense evil on the northern peak where the Temple of Seasons rested. Onyx has cast a shadow on the northern peak. I think you will find him there. You'll need you'll need the eight essences of nature that lie sleeping in Holodrum. Gathering all eight is the only option. The essence possess the sacred power of nature, with which you can break the shadow barrier and save Din. Shall I repeat it? Uh, no, I'm good. Then I give you this key. Go to the giant root in the lake up north. The first essence should be there, but I'd expect some resistance. Be careful. I'll just uh, rest until... Ugh. No energy. <sighs> Got the gnarled key. Pretty much just think of like um, uh, the Deku tree. Only not dead. <laughs> oh right, I better do this now. Do come in. I am Vasu, the jeweler. Is this your first time? Then let me explain jewelry. Rings made from mystical seeds have very mystical powers. If you wear one, its mystical power will be passed to you. But you must keep it in your ring box. The mystical power will gradually weaken and you won't be able to use it. Understood? Yes. Oh, you don't have a ring box. I like you, so here, take this. Ring box. Hang on. Level 1 ring box. It can hold one ring. Take this ring as a sign of our friendship. Got a ring. Get it appraised later. Until you've had a ring appraised and its power revealed, you cannot wear it. Well, I can, but it won't do anything. Hmm, I see. I call this the friendship ring. Symbol of a meeting. I'll appraise it for free this time, but after this, it will be 20 rupees per ring. If you get two of the same ring, I'll buy one for 30 rupees. Now the list appraised rings get added to the list when you want a ring. Move it from your list to your box. Talk to me to see your list. Let's take a peek at it now. Yeah, sure. There we go. Rings do nothing unless worn. Honestly, I don't know what that ring does if it does anything. I think, like, because it's just the tutorial, it's a basic ring for the time being. It's like it's just there. Oh, oh. So if we head down. Yeah, autumn. Now, on rare occasions, you will need to, um, uh, leave and come, leave areas and come back, just have the seasons change for you. But I don't think that'll be a major problem yet. But I don't think that'll be a major problem at all. Anyway, so this is the way we're supposed to go. I'm just going to check around here real quick. Got some Octorox. I kind of want to get some more rupees so I can um, uh, buy some bombs, but it looks like I'm going into that place empty-handed. Cuckoos. My dad, Talon, went to climb Mount Cuckoo, so I had to take care of our hens, but there's so much I don't know. Hang on, I gotta know. Not gonna try that again. <laughs> I do not want to unleash the Chicopolis. Alright, here we go. Oh, 
On to the first dungeon. Level 1, Gnarled Root Dungeon. Now, it's been a long time since I played this game, so it's going to take a while for me to get through these dungeons. Oh, that's a fairy. Oh. Two fairies. Let's see, I'm assuming one of these is a push block. Go. Uh, let's try this way first. Alright, got some Stalfoss. Alright, got a key. So now, can't do anything here yet, so it's a good thing we went here first anyway for the key. I want to check up before I open that door. Return light to unlit torches. You got it. Alright, yeah, I don't need to push the box for this one. You really gotta hand it, hand it to Link. He must have a really good swinging arm. If he's able to do this much damage with a wooden sword. Dungeon map. Press select to see it. The darkened rooms are ones you haven't been to yet. Hmm. So it's a pretty small dungeon, at least. Then again, it's the first one, so... I wonder if they've ever made a game where the dungeons got easier the further you get, but like the first one is like really difficult. The only other game I can think of that that gets off... Hang on. The only other game I can think of that gets ridiculously hard at first, but then gets easier as time goes on is Kid Icarus for the NES. Oh, got some moblins. I think these are... I don't know, these are the boomerang throwing ones. Ah, damn it. Oh. Alright. Uh... There we go. Alright. Got a gaseous seat. All right. Flip the switch. That switch changed the rail track, so now we can move on to a different area. Found the compass. Okay. Now, I don't think we'll need bombs. Um, uh, right off the bat. Oh, darn it. Besides, if we do need bombs, like, this dungeon will provide some. Alright, yeah, um, uh, the compass makes a chiming sound whenever you're in a room with a treasure chest. Uh, I want to check this way first. So now, that requires bombs. Okay. Come here. Okay, so this thing's like a super blade trap of sorts. And the fact that it follows you. But if you just rest it in a corner, you're fine. Okay. Alright, so... Yeah, I've got a key, but where does it go exactly? Alright, I forgot about that chest. Got it! Actually, yeah, I should head back and open that chest, because that might, that might be the dungeon item. So what are you? Nice bombs. 
Alright, and I know exactly what to do. Now, I'm, uh, one complaint that I hear a few people have of this game, or, I'm, uh, li well, this or Link's Awakening, is I'm uh, going through the menu a lot to switch your items around, and I can see why it's a little... I'm, uh... Whoops. It, it can get a bit tedious just having to swap between them every time. But, honestly, I... I don't know. It, it doesn't bother me. Whoops. Mistakes are made. Wait, you stopped there? Okay. Alright, so it looks like depending on which blade trap, on the color of the blade trap, depends on the speed. You cannot pass. Alright, got ourselves a mini boss. Alright, that was easy. Then again, first dungeon. A typical first dungeon fair. The um, uh, old r room with the diamond stair, diamond blocks on the staircase with blade traps. Seize Sashel, and it has 20 embassies. Now, this is probably one of the most important items in the game. Um, uh, if you remember the um, uh, magic powder from uh, from A Link to the Past, it's basically that, but better. How do I... There we go. Like a, it's basically the magic powder, but you can change what effect it does depending on the seeds you have. So let's head to the start of the dungeon and I'll show you. Let's take care of these guys. Oh, this doesn't lead directly to the start of the dungeon. Uh, that's actually better anyway. It's like that. You can light torches. I think you also... Hang on. You can also set enemies on fire with it, but I'm, I'm going to stop wasting the ammunition. Got the boss key. Alright. Let's try down and to the right. Alright, so now that I've got the seed satchel, um, uh, these bushes should actually start dropping um, uh, seeds as well. Fine, make a liar out of me, why don't you, game? There we go. I think it's five for drop, so that's not bad. I can only hold like 20 though, maximum, but still. Alright. Oh, right. Wallmasters. Oh, that was close. Alright, and somewhere around here is a treasure chest as well, and I want to get my hands on it before these guys, before these hands get their hands on me. Go. Oh, right. Gotta open it from the other side. Got a ring. Get it appraised later. Good. 